everybody. Welcome to the December 2022 Seller Shout Out video. Anything goes here, nothing is in order, and your sale might be mentioned. You also might learn about some things to sell because the sky is the limit on eBay. Anything is possible. So let's jump in and start with Jane Brown. She said, free from a customer at work, sold in five days for full asking price. This is Bath and Body Works Pearberry Body Lotion, eight ounces, sold for $35. And just a note on Bath and Body Works, their business model is to offer items only for a short time. Eventually, everything gets discontinued. Very few scents have been around forever. So whenever you see this out in the wild, if it's cheap enough, um, go ahead and get it because at some point it could be discontinued and worth a lot more than you're paying for it at a garage sale or a thrift store or whatever. And that goes for all the products, lotion, shower gel, hand soap, all of that stuff. Um, and some of these can really skyrocket in price once they're discontinued. So um, just a note on that, these are easily recognizable and uh, could possibly be valuable. And if they don't become valuable, they make great gifts. <laughs> so uh, that's my motto. Okay, Robin Riedel, selling for a friend, listed and sold for full price in about four hours. These are Harley Davidson Fingerless Women's Black Leather Gloves, sold for $24. 95 and this is another case of if you list it it will sell think about how many items you have laying around that aren't listed and they could sell immediately after listing um, that is what keeps me motivated is uh, knowing that it can sell at any time but it can't sell if it's not listed Bevan Dunn, Queen of the Javelinas. This was a stocking that a friend's, I guess grandma, had covered in Christmas pins, was given to me for free. Decided to just list the stocking as is since no one pin was particularly special. Took about three weeks to sell. And that is a cute idea to display all of those pins on a not valuable stocking. Lot of 32 Christmas pins, brooches, earrings, ornaments, rhinestone, sold for $39.99, oh sorry, $39.95, and was free. Dawn McMaster has some fun ornaments. First I thought they were earrings, but they're ornaments. Paid pennies for these as they were bought in a large lot of Christmas and these sold for $52. Vintage pair of German mercury glass glittered clown ornaments. And those are definitely unusual. $52. Donna Shirley paid 50 cents at the thrift store listed for around a month. Barrington Collection Lovey Security Blanket Knee High to a Grasshopper. <laughs> That's cute. I have seen that brand, the Barrington Collection, but every time I look anything up, it's really not worth anything. So it's good to know that some of these are valuable. 50 cents turned into $20. Kathleen Gifford I am downsizing my Hallmark ornament collection. They have done several variations of this ornament over the years and I think this one, 2009, goes for more money than the others. It took two weeks to sell for $35, less a 15% off coupon. So the item is Hallmark, I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. <laughs> 
sold for it says $34.99 but I think it was actually a little less because she had a coupon. Brett Stewart got this out of a large lot of Geo Tracks from Goodwill. I broke up the set. This made the cost of it $2 and sold for full asking price of $54.99. The item is Fisher Price Geo Tracks Remote Control Train Track Town Railway. $2 sold for $55. Tawana Witten have picked these discontinue gelled pens up when where I could. Sold two for $50 last week. Yes, the Clorox pens are still selling. This is a set of two of them. And this was an item in the Bolo book. You can see right here. So if you didn't know about this, now you do, and these are still circulating out there in the wild. Terry Wilcox got this at a local Goodwill for $5. Sold in about a month for sale price. Carhartt Workwear Canvas Duck Fleece Lined Work Vest, size extra large. Sold for $41.65. Jackie Basie, 50 cents at an estate sale, sold for $12. I learned about purchasing lids in this group. They were listed for about a month. So yes, just lids of things will sell. Corningware plastic lid cover. It looks like there's just one in that box. So if anything has multiple parts, you can pretty much guarantee that someone will be looking for some of those parts on eBay at some point. Dawn Cutright Taylor purchased at Goodwill end of last year listed about six to seven months ago sold for full asking price. New in wrap Pillsbury Recipe Keeper Binder Notebook $17.99. So this goes to show you that some people do like hard copies. Not everybody wants to look at their phone or their iPad for a recipe. And um, I'm like a paper person. I prefer looking at a note card or a book. That's just my preference, I guess, because I've done it my whole life. <laughs> so um, Keep your eyes out for this type of thing for holding recipes. Carlos Chavez, I got this Xbox 360 Guitar Hero Red Octane Gibson Explorer in a lot of video game consoles. Cost me around $3 and sold in 45 days for full asking price of $89.99 plus shipping. So basically $3 to $90 in a month and a half. Next we have Lydia Buscemi who sold this piranha. <laughs> it was purchased for $1 at an estate sale. Took a best offer of 28. Took about six weeks to sell. So there you can see a genuine piranha specimen taxidermy. That is pretty unusual. I think if I saw that on a thrift store shelf, I would definitely buy that for resale. In fact, Leslie Wilson in Texas, who was on the podcast, talked about finding one of these as well. So, um, wow, twice this has showed up in the Money Making Mondays, twice that I know of. Okay, Emily Smith paid five dollars at a garage sale this past summer forgot to list until a couple of weeks ago sold for best offer plus shipping robert graham men's size two extra large b for big as in big and tall embroidered dress shirt and it sold for forty dollars janine allen joyce finally found ralph lauren bedding 
went to an estate sale on the second day in the last hour. It was pretty well picked over, but I found these pillowcases plus a full set of sheets in the same pattern. An extra fitted sheet, one sham, and a king size dust ruffle in a different print. The sheets were $2 each and the pillowcases were a dollar each. Sold these in one week, everything else is still listed. Just the pillowcases sold for $29 plus shipping. This pattern is called Allison by Ralph Lauren and there are several vintage patterns that sell for crazy prices as y'all have seen in these videos but here is yet another pattern to be on the lookout for. Savannah Boone. I was at a Goodwill digging among some fellow resellers and was shocked when I saw them pass right over these while telling me there's nothing good being put out today. This particular reseller has been selling on eBay for 20 years and visits the store daily. I internally chuckled to myself as I put these in my cart. I paid $6 for the set and it sold for full asking price of $45 in a month. The item is Vintage Crabtree and Evelyn Lavender 3-Piece Gift Set. $6 sold for $45. Sharon Brower found this at Walmart in January for $5 plus tax. Sold for full price of $39.97 plus shipping after 11 months. This is Big Mouth Billy Bass the Singing Fish and he sold for $39.97. Steve Dover found on clearance aisle and was still in date, meaning not expired. I think we paid $1.00 per bottle. Sold for full asking price of $35. Listed for about three months. The item is a two-pack of Bragg apple cider vinegar capsules. One dollar per bottle, so two dollar investment, and these sold for $35. Kim Pomeranz. I sold another Jams World shirt from the Jams World jackpot estate sale I went to back in September. This one was listed for $59.99 and I accepted an offer of $51 plus shipping after two months. This is a Jams World 50 years women's large multicolored Hawaiian shirt sold for $51. Tanya Gibson purchased for $1 at a church rummage sale listed for six months at $34.99 accepted offer of $25 plus shipping. This is Catherine's collection clown bear Christmas ornament six inches. Okay Ginger Lampbright bought a lot of Mary Kay at an estate sale a couple of years ago, 30 cents each. A lot sold right away, but some of it has been very slow to sell. I finally decided to lot it up into multiples to see if I could clear it out. This lot of two sold this week, not a lot of money, but glad to see it go. This is a lot of two Mary Kay Day Radiance Formula. It looks like it's a foundation. So two of them sold for 20 bucks. And the one thing I always forget on cosmetics is to check the expiration date. Mary Kay stuff does expire. I will get so excited about finding it and then not pay attention to the expiration date till I get home and sometimes it's expired. So just a little note to tuck away in your brain. Look for expiration dates. 
Summer Welling. I knew these large beach balls sold well because of previous Money Making Monday posts, so I picked this one up for $1.50 at a thrift store. Some were selling at $100 and over, and some for like $10, and I was stumped on price. I chose $44.97 as a middle ground. Sold overnight for full price plus priority shipping. This is Summer Escapes 48 inch jumbo beach ball, new in package. And the ones that are most valuable are the vintage ones because they are made with a more durable material. And I understand that people who do cosplay use these vinyl beach balls to make their costumes, like they cut it apart. Um, because the material is so durable. So that is one explanation of why some sell for more than others. It's uh, the brand, if it was a vintage brand, and um, how old it is, and what material it's made of. Kimberly Furman picked up at a church rummage sale for $1. Sold within hours of listing for full asking price. I included a video in my description of the item playing and the music working. This is Vintage Disney Mr. Christmas 1993 Mickey's Clock Shop. $1 sold for $85. Rachel Schmidt bought at an estate sale for $5, listed for three weeks and took a best offer of $30. This is a new with tag Brooks Brothers cardigan sweater. $5 sold for $30. Sue Ann Akers bought at an estate sale on 50% off day for $10. Sold in three weeks when I sent an $80 offer to Watchers. The item is American Girl Rebecca Hanukkah dress outfit with shoes, ribbon, and tights. $95 for some doll clothes. And these cost Sue Ann $10 and she sold them for almost a hundred. That blows my mind. Doll clothes can sell for that much. Okay, Diana Warren bought a very large lot of vintage perfumes that I am slowly listing as collectible vanity decor paid just about 25 cents for this and it sold in a week for $34.44. Vintage Giardini di Monte Catini. Wow, that is a mouthful. Eau de Parfum Spray, only 2.5 ounces. Stephanie Townsend bought at a thrift store for $6. Sold same day for full asking price. Pier 1 Sugared Decorative Kitchen Table Fruit. So it's just some fake fruit in the box. Sold for $34.99. Dorcas Martin picked up this set at an auction for $10. Sold for full asking price in two days. Vintage Avon White Porcelain Nativity Set with 10 pieces. 1981. $10 sold for $59.99. Tina DeVore got this at Goodwill in October for $2.99 and wasn't until I got it home that I realized it was a talking advent calendar. Sold for asking price after a couple of months. The item is Christmas Princess Advent Interactive Calendar by Jemmy, G-E-M-M-Y, sold for $49.95 and it only cost her three bucks. And that is so pretty um, with the pink and the princesses. You know, not everything Christmas themed has to be red or green or gold. So this is uh, definitely an example of that. Okay, Anne Rice picked up at a garage sale. I'm loving obscure hats lately. This one sold for asking price in less than a month. Bought for $1. The 
The item is Vintage John Deere Camo Trucker Hat Snapback, sold for $34.98, and her investment was $1. Jody Clark paid $4.24 at Goodwill for this new Logitech Harmony 350 remote, sold in a few hours for $79.95 plus $8.50 shipping. So there you can see it is a new in the package remote control and it was four bucks and sold for just under eighty eighty dollars for a remote. Brooke Taylor paid five dollars at a local thrift store. Buyer paid full price plus shipping sold in about a month. Hulu holiday sweater normal people TV series sold for thirty dollars and it cost her five. Christy Bolter bought for five dollars listed at fifty five took best offer of forty five sold in about a week and this is Longitude brand swimsuit and I do like that brand because it is for those fortunate ladies that have a long torso and that can be hard to find out in the world. I know that both L.L. Bean and Land's End make swimsuits in long sizes, which I always look for that because they do sell well because there aren't as many of them. But this brand is specifically made for the long torso lady. Dr. Steven Gittler, free from the freebie app sold in a week or so. Command and Conquer Three Canes Wrath Xbox 360 game. So free and it sold for $11.99. All those little sales add up. Brian Hilliard picked this up at Salvation Army for $15. Honestly I was worried I overpaid for it. Sold comps were a bit all over on these. I took a chance and luckily it paid off. Took about two months to sell. Vintage 1996 USA Atlanta Olympics starter jacket. $15 and it sold for $69.97. Scott Wolpert. I almost threw all of these away. <laughs> They came in a large box of miscellaneous electronics I bought, so I don't have anything into them, meaning no cost. I decided to look them up and saw people were selling broken phones in large lots. Good thing I looked. So this is a lot of 10 untested used old cell phones for parts. $40 and these were free. Susie Palmer Grant, good old Ralph Lauren, you've been so good to me. <laughs> yes, Susie, I notice you do post a lot of Ralph Lauren items. Paid $5.15 at a thrift store and sold on sale for $79.92 plus shipping and it took four months. She says it was worth the wait. Okay, George Kelly. Bought this Star Trek ornament at a garage sale for $1. Sold in a day for $29.95. This is 1991 Hallmark Keepsake Ornament Star Trek 25th Anniversary Starship Enterprise. $1 and sold for just under $30. Marlene Ward, free to me from former employer. In that late 90s, early 2000s, as VP of Mellon Network Services Direct Sales Team, these were provided to use when new customer signed network processing contracts. Listed for a little over a year. Took best offer of $55 and customer paid shipping. So this is your iconic cross classic century black 
23 karat gold plated ballpoint pen with the case. $55. Rosanna Smoker. I wasn't familiar with this brand, but it was so soft. I paid $3.50 for it and it sold for a best offer of $45 plus shipping in less than a week. The brand is Avoca, A-V-O-C-A, -A, The Mill, Ireland Pure Wool Mohair Throw Blanket. $3.50 and it sold for $45. Kim Smith paid $5 at a family thrift in October of 2021. Been listed all this time, which I'm fine with. Worth the wait. And the item is Simone Perle Thong Panties. <laughs> uh, new with tag. $43 for a pair of underwear. Yes, anything is possible on eBay. Melanie Johnson, purchased for $5 each, so $10 for the set, sold in a week for $75 plus shipping. Pair of Buyer's Choice 1996 The Carolers, Pilgrim Man and Woman. $5 sold for, oh, I'm sorry, $5 each and the set sold for 75. Ken McNamara, $2 sold for 62. Thrift store find sold in 20 minutes. Plate had two tiny chips that I disclosed, otherwise would have priced higher. The item is Anthropology Natalie Lette 10 inch cat dinner plate. So for all you feline haters out there. <laughs> Things with cats sell really well. Two dollars sold for 62 in 20 minutes. And here's Leslie Wilson that I just mentioned uh, talking about the taxidermy piranha. I sold another Hello Kitty Build-A-Bear plush. These things sell well especially if they have their bows included. Paid $7.99, sold for $70 plus shipping in a few weeks listed. So there you can see, new with tag, Build-A-Bear Retired Sanrio Hello Kitty 18 inch plush. So this wasn't a giant one, uh, just a sort of rare one, $70 for a Hello Kitty. And last but definitely not least is Wendy Kruger. Paid $2 at a book sale, sold for $50 plus shipping in five months. This is Betty Crocker's cookbook from 1970, sold for $50. And I'm pretty sure if you're over the age of 40, either you or your mom had this because this looks very familiar. Okay, that wraps up the December edition of Seller Shoutout. Congratulations to everybody who made it into the video. Keep posting those sales on Money Making Monday, and I will see you next time. Have a profitable, productive, and fun day on eBay. Bye, everybody.